Hi, I'm Randy Becker with Keysight Technologies. NTN is continuing to grow in interest in the cellular community as people look to use satellites for communications. However, doing so poses a number of challenges. One of the common satellite trajectories that, or constellation types that people are looking at are low Earth orbits uh, satellites. Those have a uh, high Doppler shift, high uh, path losses, and uh, high path delays that have to be accounted for in the network for, in order for the network to operate properly. And so there's a lot of challenges in testing and making sure a device, both the base station and the mobile handset, uh, can work correctly. We'll take a look here at a quick demo and get into the details. So our demo is going to consist of the UXM 5G base station emulator, which is connected to the PropSim uh, channel emulator, and that in turn is connected to our device under test, which is a real 5G enabled NTN uh, phone. Keysight test automation software is coordinating communications between the instruments. One of the key things that the UXM is doing is it is transmitting the new SIB-19, which has the satellite ephemeris information in it. The mobile uses this to estimate the Doppler shift and time offsets and to pre-compensate for that in the transmissions back to the base station. In this application, we can see the current satellite position, and it's just moved uh, past directly overhead, so the time delay is a little bit shorter now, about two milliseconds, and the Doppler shift is around, uh, it's actually going right down to about zero hertz, and uh, now starting to increase in a negative uh, manner, and this will go all the way up to about 40 or 50 kilohertz by the time it gets to the horizon. Now if we move down to the UXM, we can see the throughput currently of both the downlink signal with the yellow trace and the uplink signal on the green trace. The bottom trace here shows the block error rate, which is uh, zero at the moment. So we have, a good, we have good communication between the UE and the base station, even though this, the uh, system is experiencing a lot of Doppler shift and time offsets. One of the things that we can do is demodulate the uplink signal at the base station emulator and see what the physical characteristics look like. We can see the constellation here, which doesn't look perfect, which is to be expected as we are emulating the uh, characteristics of the propagation through the satellite and, and, and back down to the Earth. Here we see a few metrics, including the EVM, but I want to point out the uh, frequency error, which is just uh, right around zero hertz. So the mobile is doing a great job at pre-compensating for the Doppler shift. I can add a small time offset between where the, uh, or add an offset between where the satellite actually is and where it's being told that it is to create an error for the mobile. And so I've added a, a small uh, error there. And now we can see the frequency error has increased to about uh, 50 hertz or so. And if I make it even worse, we can now see about 100 hertz uh, offset. If we come back down here to the uh, UXM screen, we'll see that our, through, our uh, throughput dropped and basically even went to zero as I made the error even uh, bigger. And now we're getting a uh, complete 100% uh, block errors. So these are just a few of the things uh, that people would be interested in in testing NTN to make sure that their mobile handsets and base stations are gonna work correctly. Here I'm showing just part of our solution. We also have UE emulators and our WaveJudge uh, platform that are also NTN enabled. Contact Keysight for more information.